Well, I live in the state of, Van of Washington, the town Vancouver, and I have to especially stress that's the original Vancouver. Canada's got the pretty one, but we've got the first. <laughs> My Christian life goes all the way back to 29 days when I was baptized. Hmm. I believe in infant baptism. Wonderful. And it carried through all the way. I decided at age three I wanted to serve the Lord full time like my dad. Hmm. My faith was especially boosted by the fact that I have lots of handicaps. Hmm. And they're like I'm a, a sponge. I attract strange handicaps like my intestine intersuscepted when I was an adult oh, goodness. and that led to a real crisis of faith because I was out in the mountains leading a retreat they had to rush me down to a hospital for emergency mm. surgery they told me the next morning that I would have been dead if the doctor hadn't gone in at midnight oh, goodness. and things like that really increase your faith you see what a miracle that God kept you alive so you start to ask well why did God keep me alive and then it makes you more determined to do what you're called to do. Well, I especially think it's important for us to realize how worship ought to kill us. Hmm. That um, it needs to make us very aware that we are incapable of rescuing ourselves. Hmm. That like just yesterday morning I was teaching at a college and I was working with Psalm 146 in which it says, do not trust in princes, in a mortal human being in whom there's no salvation. Hmm. There's just no rescue in ourselves and because there's no rescue that's why we die daily and and worship helps to kill us because it helps us realize of our our incapacities and that we are dead to sin and need to be made alive in christ for a new creation